Deception. Pure and simple. What's going on guys? What are we doing today in this video? We're not only going to talk about how GameStop stock soaring once again up 11% and AMC close behind, uh, we are also going to talk about how the SEC has alleged Trade Zero deceived customers in the 2021 meme stock restrictions. And finally, if you invested $100 in GameStop, AMD, Nvidia, Tesla, Apple, Plug Power, and Dogecoin five years ago, how much money would you have now? All of these insights and and the reason why we were able to catch this support on GME as well as this one in AMC, this GME support was caught a year ago. Slap that like button, comment out which like you guys are all the way up to 800 and I might just give one of you guys a special treat for commenting down below and liking the video. So make sure that you guys do watch until the end to find out what that treat is. And now let's go right into it. First things first, GameStop soaring. This is a Barron's article. An analyst says it remains disconnected from the fundamentals. That's something we've been saying since the very beginning of this channel. The analyst said that he was maintaining his underperformed rating on the stock. Wedbush has a 12-month price target of $30 on the shares. GameStop rose 10% on Thursday, $127.09. It had fallen more than 14% this year. The company said earlier this week that it had launched a digital asset wallet for non-fungible tokens, NFTs, and cryptocurrencies. Pactor said that the digital wallet was unlikely to become the preferred crypto and NFT solution for console and mobile gamers. Console and mobile walled gardens are controlled by much larger technology companies that will be unwilling to let a third party such as GameStop capture a meaningful share of consumer spending on platform. We know that this is a lot of what is going on with the advertising with the uh, consumer spending universe. And that's something that we'll have to see because once again, GameStop is run by apes. It's run by you guys. So that's why we have to know exactly when and why SEC is now alleging that we had been deceived in January 2021. Why is that? And also, how close are we to seeing very similar levels of deception this year? Let's see. The SEC alleged that Trade Zero America Inc. and co founder Daniel Pipitone deceived customers about restricting meme stock purchases in January 2021. Trading platform Trade Zero and Mr. Pipitone agreed to a cease and desist order without admitting or denying the charges. The SEC said the order includes penalties of $100,000 for Trade Zero and $25,000 for Mr. Pipitone. In October, Trade Zero said that it would combine with blank check company Dune Acquisition Corp. But Dune said May, May 3rd that it determined the deal is not advisable or fair to or even in the best interest of Dune and called for Dune stockholders to vote against the transaction. The SEC order said that on January 28th, 2021, Trade Zero's clearing broker instructed all of its in introducing brokers, including Trade Zero, to halt all purchases in GME, AMC, and COS. And where were they? Where where were they during the uh, congressional hearings that we were able to follow? We live streamed that on this channel, by the way. Hit that subscribe and the notifications on if you guys don't want to miss another live stream like that. Uh, we were able to follow this pretty closely. We grilled Vlad. We grilled Mr. Gabe. And yet, looks like this guy should have been on the chopping block too. Trade Zero refused to implement the instruction for over two hours, allowing its customers to freely trade. Under increasing pressure from the clearing broker, Trade Zero's board decided to implement the restriction, the order said. Trade Zero ultimately halted purchases for about 10 minutes, according to the SEC press release. According to the order, Mr. Pipitone said on Reddit that some trading firms are blocking these symbols is disgusting, unprecedented. It didn't disclose that Trade Zero also blocked three symbols. Oh, the hypocrisy. The order was also mentioned on uh, January 29th, 2021, Trade Zero press release promoting its resistance to the clearing broker's restrictions. All right, so understand that this is something of an ongoing process. For example, if you guys were able to do the research, do the DD, the due diligence, and then find out exactly how much money you would have made now, five years ago, let's take a look. Investors who place their hard-earned cash into major U.S. indices have enjoyed respectable returns over the past five years. Despite market co corrections, the recent market correction partially generated by Russia-Ukraine war and the stock market crash of 2020, uh, the, the general stock market have returned 67%, 110%, and 55% respectively. As good as investors of the major U.S. indices have had it over its past five years, a number of the world's most popular consumer discretionary tech and clean energy manufacturing stocks have provided even better returns. Bulls that took a chance on these names were rewarded with gains that outperformed much of the broader market. 
winner since May 2017. According to uh, data from Benzingo Pro, here's how much $100 would have made of the of the following stocks and cryptocurrencies bought back in spring 2017 would be worth today. $100 would have 5x in GameStop, we have $576 in change, it would have 9x with AMD, $898 in change, it would have 5x with Nvidia, 10x with Tesla, 3.5x with Apple, uh, 20x with Plug Power, and 25x with Dogecoin. So that's the main thing, is that if you guys are not using clever and not thoughtful alerts in your systems, you're basically just missing out on cash that should be in your pocket. So one of the easiest ways is to use some of the tools down below. For example, ChatterQuant scrapes a lot of the tw of the Twitter, tw uh, stock twits, and other forms to be able to give you guys brand new DD before it hits the mainstream. However, I really like Lux algorithm. It gives you buy signals and it makes it really clear when stocks are going to be able to have a bullish turn and a, a strange but oftentimes very, very common upset. So if you guys find that the strong signals over here, the, uh, the weak signals down here is a sign that Google is in a place of strength, well, that is something that you can then measure up with a stock like AMC. You can do crypto here as well. So that's why it would be helpful if you guys are in the crypto space. We saw that buy signal on AMC yesterday and we were watching it ever since. It crossed into the overbought Bollinger's here, only the first level at $12.87 before it started simmering down into this parametric equalizer here. It's about $11.97. It finished pretty much right above it, which means this stuff works. You guys get 20% off with the code Andrew Mo Money down below, of course. Thank you guys do for this channel, we want to give you guys right back. If you guys have noticed that the stock price for AMC and for GME have been resistant to a specific level of static support, which is fantastically bullish, and a dynamic resistance. The resistance itself is coming from uh, in the early part of the day, the VWAP, because we were rejected right here at $12.33 and then managed to push right above it. This is most the most bullish action of the day before then getting rejected again at $12.33. A double rejection is also a double bottom, which meant we had to go lower. But we caught ourselves twice in an in intraday double uh, double bottom here. We double topped, double bottomed, and now we're looking like we are going to spend the rest of our price action between that 200 EMA and that VWAP, that volumetric weighted average price. If you guys look at the same thing for GME, we also had a early day rejection by the VWAP, essentially just tracking the exact same movements. And you guys know that now that it is overshorted, it's overborrowed, and essentially borrowers are willing to pay whatever fee to be able to continue shorting it, that's money. That's the sound of money. If you guys wanted to know more about how exactly the stock market works and exactly how your investments can start investing in you, then please do hit that subscribe button and that notification bell because I am going to continue until there's no more breath in my lungs and that meatball right there is going to continue guiding you along as well. If you like the fact that he was sleeping in the corner being a nice boy, uh, please do hit that like button and finally thank those of you who make this show possible. Those of you who have already have access to our six-figure trading portfolio and those of you who are grillionaires and space legends, I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you guys for making the show possible. Go ahead and press that join button down below or go to Patreon and support me there. And I will see you guys in the money. Peace.